Hi, welcome back to Filipino Time. Today's episode is going to be a special one as we're going to walk you through how to demagnetize your mechanical watch. I wanted to feature this video today because I noticed that some of my watches don't keep good time even after being mechanically serviced, where after a few days it's still too advanced or too late. And then I thought to myself that maybe it's a matter of being magnetized. So essentially what happens is that when our watches are exposed to a magnetic field, the balance spring then becomes, of course, off balance, which then leads to the irregular ticking and beating of the movement. So even if you're wearing your Rolex Milgauss with its anti-magnetic technology, it's still good practice to keep your watches away from magnetic devices, although in this day and age, it's next to impossible to do so given how almost everything has a magnet, including our laptops, tablets, radios, and our very own smartphones. Some claim that even the motors from our watch winders are the main culprit. So, for the materials for today's video, of course, what we're going to need is a demagnetizer. Now, there are many different types of demagnetizing devices. There are the more affordable ones that are for personal use, then the more professional ones that are more suitable if you operate your own repair center, and those that meet in the middle for both price and effectiveness. I got myself one of the more simple and affordable models that should be able to do the job well today, now, I bought it off Shopee as I reside in the Asian region, but these should also be commercially available at popular e-commerce sites in your respective region. We will also need tools to identify if our watch has been magnetized in the first place, and that can be done in two ways. The first way is through a regular compass, preferably one that can lay flat on its back, while the second way is through an app on your smartphone. For Android, you can download Gauss Meter, while for Apple, you can download Lepsi. Both apps are free to download from their respective app store. And finally, of course, you need your watch. So today, I'll be using my all-time daily beer, my Seiko Paddy Turtle, which has gone with me almost everywhere. It has been exposed to water, dirt, constantly, and most probably even magnetic fields as well. So. Identifying if your watch is magnetized. So first things first, we need to check if the watch in question is actually magnetized. If we go using the compass method, simply put out your compass on a flat surface and wait for the arrow to stabilize. Now wave the watch over the compass. What you want to watch out for is significant detection of the arrow. If by waving the watch over the compass, the arrow moves significantly, then your watch is most likely magnetized. The second method is through an app on your phone. I'll be using Lepsi on my iPad. Once you open the app, you'll need to follow the instructions presented on the screen. You'll need to first configure the app by locating where the phone's built-in magnet sensor is. This is to help in the accuracy of the app. After doing so, lock into position and you can start using the app to detect if your watch is magnetized. The app should explicitly state if it senses magnetization from the watch. As it's indicated that the watch is indeed magnetized, we move over to the next step. We can now use the demagnetizer. Plug in the demagnetizer, now place the watch right above the demagnetizing pad of the device. It is recommended that you remove any straps or braces from the watch to leave just the head, but if you're unable to do so, then holding the watch by the end of the strap should be fine. Hold down the red button and slowly lift the watch away from the device in a matter of 5 seconds. What we're doing here is dragging the watch away from a strong magnetic field to a weak magnetic field, which should decrease the severity of its magnetism from the changing orientations of alternating current. You may need to repeat this for a few more rounds given this type of budget-friendly demagnetizer. After doing so, you can check once again through the app or compass to see if there are any traces of magnetism left. If there are, then you may need to continue doing a few more rounds. If done, then you are good to go. So, I hope that you guys learned something new today. If you did, feel free to like this video and subscribe if you can. 
Thanks again, and we'll see you soon.